Hey, hey, it's Helen here, coming to you live from LA with a very special guest today. We have the one and only Kate McShay with us today. Hey, so, what's going welcome. On? How hey, are we, everybody? <laughs> if you are new to me coming in live, please just pop a one below and say hello. I'd love to connect with you after the call. So, the reason why Kate and I are in LA is because I have just attended a three day intensive fast track to freedom workshop with a group of like minded entrepreneurs where we are learning to accelerate our business and take it to the next level and Kate was our main facilitator <laughs> for the last three days so she shared her wisdom and her insight um, with us for the last three days so thank you for that. Oh my gosh you're welcome. And one of the topics we explored in the workshop is social media branding and I have talked about this just recently but Kate as somebody who's a coach and a trainer mm. for social media strategies and sort of an expert in this area sure. and Kate's been able to achieve over 70,000 fans and followers on her <laughs> Uh, fan page. So from your perspective, can you share with us what you think the importance of, if you're a home-based business owner, what the importance of is branding yourself rather than, you know, pushing out your products sure. or your company? Sure, yeah. And so the interesting thing that I can share is that I've it's evolved for me. Yep. And it's evolved for me because when I started, I thought everything had to be about my product. Yeah. So when I came online to market our business, for me, I thought everything, I led with the product. Like, yeah. and so I always talk about there's three different stages to create massive growth in your business in general, and it's grow a network or a following, engage with that network or a following, and then promote to that network or a following. Yeah. And so for me, the one thing that I did in the beginning that I did wrong <laughs> is I thought everything was about my product, and so everything was about promotion, and I was thinking of social media as a way to just get more people to see my offer and to see my product when in turn what ended up working for me was starting to understand that I had to give and provide value to um, I had to give and provide value to people so that they could understand what my product or service did so I had to stop looking at it as advertising and I had to start looking at it as creating this presence and the best way to create the presence is by actually, especially in this space, if you're in network marketing, affiliate marketing, even if you're doing some coaching or things like that, um, it's actually being you and, and building up your brand through you. And the reason I say not to promote it through your, through your company or through your products or anything like that is people work with people that they know, like, and trust, right? True. Sure. And I think the biggest thing for me is that you, heaven forbid <laughs> something happens to your company yeah. right or you have this moment where you go I think I want to go in this direction or I think I want to um, I think I want to go in this direction or I, I'm looking maybe I want to start and do my own products or mm. something like that when you brand yourself by just your opportunity or by by your company it actually gives you a plateau of what you will be able to do and how you will be able to impact people and, and people won't connect with you. They're going to have either preconceived notions on that product or on, um, or on the opportunity or maybe they've heard of that company before and yeah. you know, their cousin did it and they didn't have results. So they, it actually takes away from you being the leader and being the authority. And so for me, um, I am the only thing that I can control and that won't change. And that might change into a new business. It might change, which it has. I started in network marketing and now we, we've gone into the coaching space and we do facilitate and run these workshops. Um, and we were also affiliate marketers, but because we branded a personal brand, we were able to make those transitions. Yeah, yeah. And that's the hard part with a lot of people. A lot of people, when they lead with their company or they lead with their product, um, then all of a sudden something changes or the company might close down or they change their compensation plan or you find a new passion or a new company that you just absolutely adore and want to be and want to like soak up everything and then you have to start from scratch again mm -hmm. and I've seen a lot of people yes yeah. build up this big massive presence and people love them but they branded it through their company and then when it was time to change and to shift they literally had to start all over again they had to start all over again, they had to create new fan pages, and for me, it's just knowing that, I think this might be the best way to put it, that you, when if you're watching this, um, you are the most important, powerful, 
influential element of your business. And that's the best way for you to continue to grow and expand and become bigger and more of an impact is by actually sharing you and branding you and letting people get to know you and then your product is secondary and it becomes so much easier to sell that way. Yeah, one of the questions <laughs> I ask people is what do you think your biggest asset is in your business? Yeah. And people will often think it's the company yeah. or the products yeah, or yeah. the comp plan yes. or you know, one of those things but really it's you. You are your biggest asset and that's why social media branding and why we give it so much attention. And you know, Kate's a testament to that and where she's taken her business and now with your coaching, your mentoring, your facilitating and you don't, don't get 170,000 fans for branding your product or your company. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's such a huge, yeah, you don't create that big massive impact like I know you're having now too, which is amazing and you're helping change so many lives, which is exciting for me to see, yeah. but that doesn't happen when, when you're surrounding yourself with just what you think people want, which is your product, which it's not, they want you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Did you find that useful? Even if you're on the replay, please send Kate lots of love. I really appreciate your time and yes. your insight to, yes. to share that with us. If you found this helpful, please share it. As I said, if you're one, if you're new to me on the video, even if it's on the replay, just pop a one down below because I'd love to say hello to you afterwards. And send Kate lots of love, even on the replay. Um, really appreciate your insight. Yes. Have an awesome day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And until my next Facebook Live, I'll see you then. Oh, and I want to say one. Oh, more thing. Sorry, Kate. I want to say one more thing about okay. you. So I got a chance to spend three days with Helen um, and I think one of the biggest things that I've realized is how impactful and inspiring and influential you are and I know your big places that you're going and you guys are in amazing hands so make sure you're tuning into her trainings make sure that whatever she's offering out there you pick up and you find however possible to work with Helen because you're just absolutely amazing. It was so cool to see where you started on Friday to where you ended on Sunday and I just I know you guys are in amazing amazing hands this is a high high class high quality very very well experienced businesswoman so you would be incredibly smart to just soak up any information that she ever possibly gives out um, free and paid <laughs> Thank you. Yep. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but thank you very much You're for that. Welcome. And thanks again for being with us both here live in LA. And we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.